I wonder how long it's going to take to charge my battery. Hey guys, so uh, last year I wrote a blog article on how long does it take to charge a car battery with a battery charger at any given amperage, and I found that there wasn't really a helpful resource on that. So I decided to do my own math, and uh, we'll cover that today, but basically I extrapolated some uh, numbers that were given by a battery charger manufacturer and came up with an easy equation that, I, in my opinion, gives you a good, good estimate, solid estimate on how long uh, you can uh, estimate for the charging process to take for your given car battery. So I will give you that to you next and uh, then we'll get to the math. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, if you're just here for the quick uh, formula, it's basically going to be the amp hours of your car battery divided by um, 0 0.8, then divided by the charging amps of the battery charger that you have. And that will give you the time to a full charge. But if you know anything about car batteries, you're probably saying car batteries don't come in amp hours. They come in cold cranking amp amps or cranking amps or reserve capacity. So that's why I have the math here. And that'll bring us into our next um, discussion. So let's get right to that. Okay, guys, jumping into the math. Um, if you go to my website, I have the Schumacher 1.5 amp battery charger charging times, and these are rated for a 50% discharge. So that's assuming that the battery is half dead or half full, whether or not you want to be a pessimist or an optimist. And then it'll give the charging times based on the uh, capacity of the battery. This is just a short excerpt from it. Um, it's a much longer list, and you can see that on my article below in the description. But we're just going to use the first three lines of that to make the example to show you uh, how I arrived at my conclusion down here. So my issue when I first got into this is that it'll tell me for these smaller batteries that are good for um, lawnmowers or whatnot, it'll give me the charging times for the amp hour rating. But I wanted to know what if I had a four amp charger or a 10 amp charger, how long would it take to charge a car battery? Well, you can't readily um, go between amps and reserve capacity or amps and cold cranking amps. It just doesn't correlate when you're trying to figure out what is the capacity of a car battery relative to the charging amps that are going into it. They, it just, it's like oil and water, it doesn't mix. So we have to get things into an amp hour equivalency if nothing else. So that was the purpose of this. So. So let's take a look at the first two sets of batteries that it gives us, even though they're not the car batteries yet, but it'll go into this. So for example, um, a 32 amp hour battery is going to take 13.5 hours to charge when it's 50% discharged. So that means if we take 32 divided by two to get 50%, we got 16 amp hours that need to be charged up. So that's 16 amp hours. If we divide it by the 13.5 hours, um, we're gonna see that per hour, we're really getting 1.19 amps. And it's a 1.5 charger. So that's a 79% of 1.5. Same thing, if we do 12 here, 12 divided by two for 50% gives us six. Six amp hours divided by the five hours here is going to give us 1.2 amps. So that's 80% of 1.5. And if we do um, six, for example, six divided by two gives us three, three amp hours, divided by 2.5 hours charging time for 50% gives us 1.2 amps as well per hour on average. And that's 80%. Now you're saying, well, it's rated at 1.5 amps. Why is it only doing 1.2? That's just the average per hour. Um, the charging process is relatively complicated, but an easy explanation is basically there's three phases of charging. Bulk, which is the first 80% of your charging of your car battery. Then there's absorption and float mode. Um, your battery does the majority of its charging the fastest in the first 80%. After that, the last 20%, it really slows down. So that's what drags this out. Because in an ideal world, um, the 16 amp hours, or the 16 amp hours that we need to replace here 
if we divided it by 1.5, the charger, because the charger should be able to put in 1.5 amp hours, like replenish 1.5 amp hours per hour, 16 divided by 1.5 gives us 10.67. In a, a perfect world, this should have only taken 10.67 hours and not 13.5 hours. So this is 79% of this. So they all relatively came out to 79, 80, 80%. So these are the numbers that I'm working with. Now, if I wanted to get an amp hour equivalent for a car battery, so we have different ranges here. And on my website, I ended up giving my findings for all of the, the different ranges of car batteries and what their amp hour equivalencies would be. Um, but we're just gonna stick with one number right now, just so you can see how I got there. And then you'd be able to do the math and you would see that I could get the rest of the numbers that way as well. So we're gonna go with the highest one. So the, either a 315 cold cranking amps, which would be the equivalent of 60 reserve capacity according to Schumacher, a battery manufacturer. And it would take 19.25 hours to replace 50% um, of the amp hours back into the battery to bring it up to a full charge. So if I know that whatever amp hours need to be replaced goes here and you divide it by the total hours of charge here, that the number is always going to get me 1.2. Pretty simple. We just say X, we're solving for X, divide it by 19.25 charging hours, and it should equal 1.2. We move the 19.25 over, multiply by 1.2, that gives us 23.1 for X, but we got to remember this is 50%. So if we double it, it's saying that this car battery with 60 reserve capacity or 315 cold cranking amps is the equivalent of 46.2 amp hours. I did that same math for the 40 or the 200, and then there were two other ranges here uh, that I solved for as well. And then on my blog, I went through and I detailed all of the common chargers that you would have, and um, I cross-referenced it with the amp hour equivalents here, and you can just go right through that chart, find what range your battery is in, find your charger, and it'll give you an estimated time for that. But again, if you just wanted the formula for a marine battery or anything like that, simply take the amp hours of your battery, divide it by 0 0.8, and then divide that number again by the um, charging amps, and that will give you the total time and that's a good ballpark. Uh, the reason I definitely believed what I was seeing when I did all of this is because if you look it up on Google and any of the forums with electricians or whatnot, everyone pretty much says a car battery will run about 40 to 50 amp hours for a small car battery. This falls right into that ballpark, so I'm comfortable with that number. So if you have a better formula, feel free to uh, post it below in the comments. And finally, the last thing you're probably wondering is, okay, but what if my battery's at, not at 50% or it's not at 100%? How can I estimate where, what the state of charge is for my battery? And they have tables that you can find on Google, but again, you can also go to my website and I have it broken down so that you can check with a voltmeter what your voltage is between your two terminals and it'll cross-reference and tell you roughly what percentage you're at. So then you can just apply the math to that as well and get a ballpark for where you need to be. Well guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this helped you out quite a bit. And if you are confused as to what um, amp hours your car battery is, feel free to check out my blog below. I'll have that linked and it'll take you right to the charts that I have listed. And you'll be able to cross reference where your battery is in relation to the charger that you plan on using. And hopefully that'll uh, take care of that. If you have a better way of estimating this, go ahead and uh, post it below, leave a comment. Uh, feel free to subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I uh, hope you have a good day.